the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We place ourselves into the hands of a merciful Father and ask for that prepar preparation that we need to receive the Christ to be born for us. I confess to the Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I fail to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who are weighed down from of old by slavery beneath the yoke of sin may be set free by the newness of the long-awaited nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, as he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when men shall no longer say, as the Lord lives, who brought us, the sons of Israel, out of the land of Egypt and led the descendants of the house of Israel out of the north country and out of the countries where he had driven them. They shall dwell in their own land. The word of the Lord. In his days, justice, justice shall flourish and great peace forever. In his days, justice shall flourish and great peace forever. In his days, justice shall flourish and great peace forever. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace forever. Oh God, Give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. In his days justice shall flourish and his peace forever. For he shall save the needy when they cry, the poor and those who are helpless he will have pity on the weak and the needy and save the lives of the needy. In his days, justice shall flourish forever and peace forever. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, who alone works wonders. Ever bless his glorious name. Let his glory fill the earth. Amen, amen.
of the house of Israel, you gave the law to Moses on Sinai. Come and redeem us with an outstretched arm. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with a child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with the child, and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When, Jesus, when Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and he took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son and he named him Jesus. This is the gospel of the Lord. Whereas the Gospel of Luke reports the Annunciation of the Angel to Mary, Matthew reports the Annunciation being made to Joseph. Both Mary and Joseph are personalities of Advent. They are the ones who made it possible that the first Christmas happened. What makes them important is their readiness to give way to God's action. They had plans of beginning a family of their own, and yet now the unexpected happens. Mary is expecting a child by the working of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, being a righteous man, does not want to put Mary to shame and to danger. He decides to divorce her quietly, but at the message of the angel, he is ready to let his plans be cancelled so that the big plan of God can happen. And that is Joseph's greatness. When God wants to intervene in our lives, we shall many times be invited to let our small plans be drawn into the background in order to give way to God. There is a challenge for us all as we now prepare for the celebration of the Lord's Nativity. That what happened that time in Nazareth and Bethlehem is to happen in each one of us and in our communities and our families to prepare that place where he can be born. And with him, we begin a journey, a journey of salvation. This will always be possible if we are ready to remove all those attachments from our lives, however beautiful and noble they will be, so that God may act in our lives. The Lord is with you.
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that this our offering may be pleasing to God, the compassionate Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice to be offered to you, O Lord, make us acceptable to your name, that we may merit for all eternity to be the companions of Christ by whose death our own mortality was healed, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Your holy death, O Lord, we remember. Amen. Your blessed resurrection we profess. Amen. Your coming in glory we await. Amen. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the power of your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Cyprian, our Bishop, the clergy, the religious, and all who desire to have you in their lives. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most just spouse, the blessed apostles, St. Daniel Comboni, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Come, Lord, and deliver us from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you come as the King of Peace. Come and teach us ways of justice and of peace. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Gracious the grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
the dawn on from on high will visit us guiding our feet in the way of peace let us pray as we give thanks almighty god may we receive your mercy in the midst of your temple o lord and a show fitting honor to the coming solemnities of our redemption through christ our lord the angel of the lord declared unto mary behold i am the handmaid of the lord and the word was made flesh Hey Mary, for of grace the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we may be made worthy of the promises of God. Let us pray. For our Father, we beseech your Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our lord amen the lord be with you may the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit mass is ended let us go to glorify the lord by our lives a blessed day to you all